Good morning. This is Angela with a cup of C on Monday, September 12, 2011. It's actually going to be noon by the time I get done, so I apologize. Another Monday where I'm sort of late, but I don't even have a holiday for an excuse today. <laughs> <clears throat> However, this topic that came through was um, really interesting, and I've run through this a couple of times, which is why I'm now running into lunchtime because I started late. And I had no idea how it was going to fall together until I actually ran through it. And I was like, oh, wow, that's really nice, <laughs> as it usually is. And, and it's very ap appropriate for today. It's Today's the 12th, and it's on the wake of yesterday, which was 9-11 in the United States, you know, the big memorial, the 10-year anniversary from, you know, the Twin Towers and everything. And I really have to admit I had absolutely no emotional connection to all of the drama that was playing out. It was an interesting consideration and it's not that I didn't know people who died, I did because I come from New York and I know people who died in it, I know people who were affected by it and I know quite a few people who had like PTSD from it and stuff like that. However, what disappointed me was how much of the media, how much of the internet really, really dwelled in the drama of 10 years ago from yesterday. And instead of look at what it can do, look at how we unified, look at how we can come together and what can we learn from what happened. Instead, we just replayed it over and over again, trying to dig up that emotion again. So. When I got that the topic today was talking about the glass half full kind of concept, I didn't quite get it at first. I was like, what? But then all this information started coming in and I really was like, oh, come on, I don't want to talk about 9-11 because I, I, there was so much of that. But <clears throat> that was just the only mention that I needed to make from it because I feel like the energy from that, we can take that and it can be so powerful in transformation because let's look at what cause that. Let's look at how it came about and and how can we transform ourselves and move forward from that. Look at our history. We have spent millennia, thousands and thousands and thousands of years having war in the name of God, having war in the name of peace, having war in the name of so many things. And you know, war is simply an imbalance. War and disagreements and um, fights, they all come from imbalances. And what, is, what do those imbalances come from? Well, the imbalances basically stem from us being not being able to accept each other as we are and to see what we bring to the table versus what we can crit criticize about others. So if you then take it back to your life, right? If we look at our individual lives and say, how do we learn in our life? How do we learn through this, th through this experience of our life and through this existence? We wanted to come and experience to create and learn a bunch of lessons. And so when we experience something, the best and highest thing we can do is to pull from it what we can learn, what we learned from the experience, and then moving forward how we can move to the next level, right? To um, eliminate that, the need for that experience and to take it up to the next level. Again, we're going up the mountain. We're all taking that spiritual journey to enlightenment. We're trying to get to that Earth 2.0. However, if we keep on replaying the same thing over and over and over again, and even like literally replaying it on the news, if we keep on replaying history over and over again, it's good to know about it, and it's good to know about it so we can learn from it. But it seems we haven't learned, you know, we, we have yet to learn that lesson on war isn't bringing us any progress. It's just bringing more war. And if you take that down to our microcosm, like individual lives, and say, well, if I did the same thing over and over again, okay, how many times do you know people who've had the same relationship over and over again with different people and that they get into the same bad spot every single time. Well, because they haven't learned their lesson, they do it again and again and again. So if instead we stop and say, what did we learn from this and what is the most positive thing we can pull out of it? What can we extract from it so that 
it wasn't in vain and so that we can have better experiences moving forward. That to me would be the glass half full. That would be how do we fill the glass with beauty and fun and enlightenment and acceptance because the key here is we are remembering, we're coming back to remembering that we're all one, right? So that means all of us, every single one of us, regardless of where we are, of what we believe in, of, of where we live and what we do, we are all one. And part of the experience is that we're all, since we're all part of the same thing, these are all different aspects of ourselves. So, you know, we have these two to three trillion, twelve, uh, two to three trillion cells in our body, right? And our liver cell doesn't say to our heart cell, oh, I just don't understand you. You just don't have it right. All you do is you want to beat to your own drum, literally, ha ha ha, right? <laughs> and, 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 you know, I have, I do all this important filtering work and, and you beat, you just, what, you, you're, you're rotating the, the blood around or whatever, but I am so much more important. I'm so much better. I'm right. And you are wrong. Okay. So therefore I'm going to kill you. I'm going to take you out. Well, guess what happens? No heart, no body, no heart, no existence, no living or whatever. So again, as I've said this so many times, as above, so below, as below, so above. Let's spread that out a little bit. We are all a part of, let's just even take it to the, the um, or, organism of the earth. We are all part of the organism of, of the earth. And look at what our fighting and look at what we are doing to our planet because we are failing to learn the lesson or we have failed to this point of learning the lesson of, of acceptance and of love and of learning how to, to bring what everybody has as individuals to the table like, and what is the best and highest of a situation. And instead we've chosen to, in many respects, as a, as a world, to look at like the glass half empty and oh well yeah you just don't know what you're talking about and we're right you're wrong so therefore we're gonna take you over and we're gonna you know, we're gonna tell you how to do things and that's happened in so many civilizations for thousands and thousands of years so here's the key can we step past this part of evolution can we finally get there can we say we are all part of one you are a part of me and therefore, if I can accept you as you are, then I'm accepting myself and I love myself. So, you know, I had posted up on my Facebook page yesterday that, you know, pick one prejudice in your life and look at it, dust it off, look at it, find out within your ego why you have that prejudice and then release it. And you know, it's funny, everybody has them. Yeah, my, my youngest, who's 13, she said to me, I don't have any prejudices, you know, I, I don't care how anybody is, I just, you know, like them as they are, which is wonderful, and I was so proud, I said, yeah, but there are some. How many, when, when in your life, and she did come up with something a couple of hours later, she said, well, God, I hate people who blah, 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 and I said, oh, there's your prejudice right there. She just looked at me, because it doesn't, it, it, yes, it can be religion, it can be culture, it can be race, it, or color, or gender, or sexual orientation, or red hair, or black hair, or blonde hair, or um, tall people, short people, you know, heavy or thin, or, or, or poor, or wealthy. Those are all the obvious ones. And then there are one, you know, there's, oh, I just hate people who, who take the lead in every situation, or I hate, like, and so here's the thing. Whenever you say, I hate people who, there's a prejudice to release. There is something within you that's causing that prejudice. So let's, you know, in terms of, of looking at the glass half full and trying to bring what's up to the table and saying, well, what I ha what is the issue is something that I have a problem with, right? Because I've said how many times. It's not, um, you know, when people say to me, well, what, if, what do people think? What if people think I'm crazy? If, you know, when they're on the spiritual path and I say, it's none of your business, what do the people think of you? Well, because it's their issue. And that's right. So let's turn that around and say, you're the person judging somebody else. What's your issue with it? Bring it up and say, why does my, why does it bother my ego? And look at it honestly, because, because that makes us look in the mirrors and find out what's within ourselves that we're ready to release. That, that is preventing us from accepting everybody and everything around us, as well as fully accepting ourselves. So 
your homework this week is to do that, to pull something up and understand what it is that you, you know, when you say I hate people who this, or I just really don't like people who do this. And look at that and say, why? And what if, you know, so what? And what, what does it do to impact me? And how does it affect me? And why does it bother me? And why do I care? And then if you can say, I accept those people because I now understand. If you can understand why and then release it, guess what? How much less prejudice we can have in this world and how much more are we stepping towards acceptance? So that's it for today. And truly this week, I want you to think about that because we're really at this point of moving forward and we're really, we've learned so much, we remembered so much. And now the key is to getting past our really big, big blind spots that we've had in this whole existence so that we can actually get to that enlightenment to, to Earth 2.0. So on that, have a great day and have a great week. This is Angela with a cup of tea.